I'm excited to announce support for mocking APIs in Zuplo, and it's super easy. Uh, a few weeks ago, we announced our native support for OpenAPI. That means that our gateway is powered by an OpenAPI definition. It makes things, the workflow, super easy. If you are API first or you use OpenAPI or you're interested in using OpenAPI at all. Let's create a project and take a look at how this works. And so whilst that's spinning up, what we do is we look at the example responses inside your OpenAPI document. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And we use that to send back the response if you apply the mocking policy. Um, we can choose a random example from, from that particular operation, or you can specify an exact one, or if you just drop on the policy, we just pick the first one by default. Um, so let's go and take a look. So we just created a gateway called mocking. Uh, we're going to go to the routes file. Remember, .oas, that stands for Open API Specification. So this file is an Open API document. We're going to add a route and, you know, let's just call it Hello World. Um, I'm going to save that change now. If, if I go to um, this API, you'll see right now it's proxying to echo.zuplo.io, which just echoes back what it hears. So if I hit this, what you'll see is it gives me this huge dump of everything that the back end sent, um, sent out. We don't want to do that. We want to do mocking. We want to mock something beautiful and do it very easily. So um, what we're going to do first is actually add an example response to our open API document. So it'll go inside the operation here. Um, and you'll see you'll get IntelliSense. So responses, then what's the the, the res response code you want this to be for. So we're, we're going to do this for a 200. And then we say what, oops, sorry, what content type. And this is going to be um, application uh, JSON. And then we can say examples. And we give the example a name. I'm just going to call it foobar. And then we can specify the actual res result type. So um, since we called our demo hello, let's return an object that says hello world. So I just customized my open API doc. You could do that in stoplight or using chat GPT or however you work with open API. If you already have one, you can import it. I'll show you that in a second, but let's just go in here and let's drop on the mocking policy. So I'm going to search for the mocking policy now. Mock API response. I'm going to accept the default, but you can see you can configure like whether you want it to be randomly selected, whether you want to scan through a specific set of content types and example names. We're just going to, we're just going to use the first example. Um, I'm going to save that change. And if I now test my API, then look, I get hello world. Boom, I just mocked an API in like no time. And if you want to add, you know, if you're a front end engineer who who's using this to uh, simulate your back end and, uh, uh, you know, sort of test your front end against a, a real API, but do it quickly, then there's another cool policy you can add here called sleep. So I'm going to add the sleep policy, going to make it sleep for a second. Let's just put that in front of the mock API. And if I save those changes, now we're simulating some latency, which is really good practice for a front end engineer. And notice it's going to take a little while to come back. So that took like a second. And that was because we added the sleep policy. The next thing I want to show you is let's import an open API document. So I've got an open API import. I have Postman's open API document handy. So I'm going to merge that into my existing doc. It's going to create 57. It's a big open API, 57 docs. It's going to retain my hello world. Let's complete that merge. And if we see here, look, we have this APIs, API ID um, uh, route. And I happen to know that the Postman open API specification has an example for this. So let's add the mocking policy. Actually, I can just reuse this one here. I'm going to save my change. And even though this shouldn't work because I'm not correctly or securely connecting to the to the Postman API in this case, because I've got the mocking policy here, if I uh, test this, so I'll, it's a post, so I'm going to need to do, oh, actually, I don't want to do delete. No, let's do single API, sorry. So mock API, let's save that. It's easy to test a, a, a get, right? So save that change. Let's go and do a get. And notice we get a response. That did not go to Postman's API. That was using their example that was inside the Open API document. Crazy easy, fun stuff. We've got a lot more Open API goodies coming, so stay tuned.